Trader reporting for eggwire.com, and I am with Chad Palmer from Burlington, Iowa, and he is the CEO of Energy Efficient Lighting Systems. Chad, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Well, Chad, it's kind of exciting. You know, you come to World Pork Expo, and the big question always is, well, what's going to be different? And this year, I found something really different, and that is a whole new way to light, you know, your barns and, and, and different buildings you have for your hog operations. So, I had you give me a brief demonstration before you started, so can you give it to me again and let's explain what current systems are out there and why yours is better? Yes, we want to help educate the farmers on what's available and why the lighting is failing that they're buying now so they can quit wasting money on this lighting that is just not holding up. It's not living up to its promises. The compact fluorescent light bulb that they've been buying for years is rated for as many as 15,000 hours of life. But what we hear is that they're only they're changing them two or three times a year. The reason that they're changing them two or three times a year is because it gets so hot. The heat buildup inside this glass jar is incredible. And that's what this box demonstrates. You can see that the external, the ambient temperature in here is 31.8 degrees Celsius. The internal temperature inside that glass jar is almost 90 C, and that's almost 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So that bulb is designed to operate in 77 degrees Fahrenheit. When we operate it at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it's why its life is so short. It's cooking the electronics, and they just don't hold up to that heat. So, Chad, is it also cooking the, the pigs and the sows and the piglets when you have them all in that capacity and you've got all this lighting in there? Doesn't that affect them as well? I think it could because it is true that the ambient temperature is going to increase because there's so much heat. But I don't know that it's enough because those barns have so much airflow anyway that I don't know that it would add enough to that. But it is true that the ambient temperature, it's, the heat is so great from these jars and the CFLs that it's increasing the ambient temperature here. Well, and you, you'd also mentioned another issue with this type of system where if they clean the barns and because yes. of the temperature and the short life, you know, what so, happens? What do you see happening? Any happen? farmer will tell you, you hit a, a 200 degree piece of glass with cold water and it will break. Okay. <laughs> and if it doesn't break, it sucks the water or the moisture inside of the jar and will fill up the jar with water and then short out eventually. So the jar is really the problem. And the second part of the problem is that the, the industry that's providing lights to the, the farmers right now are really just regurgitating what's happening, what's being built for a residential use. So this was made with a table lamp in mind, not a jelly jar. So that leads us to the LED bulb that's available now. So the farmers are hearing that an LED is the, is the smart buy. And it's, it's only half true. Okay. LED generates less heat than a compact fluorescent will. It uses less electricity than a compact fluorescent, but it still has the same problem, and that's the jar. Okay. It's still inside the jar, so we end up with the same problems. If you look here, our internal temperature of that jar is still 66 C, which is about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're just too hot for those electronics to last. They're going to shorten the life. The electronics were designed for 77 degrees Fahrenheit again. And putting it inside that jar, it just doesn't allow the heat to get away from the bulb. It's what we call a passive uh, thermal management system. And that system just doesn't work with the glass jar. So, so something that, like the concept of LED in the home, does not work as well in a concept when you're talking about LED and manufacturing and production and other yes. types of buildings. You take these products that were designed for a purpose of a table lamp or a residential use, you put them into an industrial, you know, a commercial application like this, and they just don't hold up. We're even finding in the finishing barns where they use the lights really very little, we're hearing that these still are being changed a couple times a year. Which leads us to our invention, which is the AgriFission LED product. This product answers all of those problems, plus a few more that we learned. The biggest one that we've learned is that heat that we've just been talking about. And if you look at the temperatures that we have here, our ambient temperature is actually slightly cooler than everyone else's, but our internal temperature is basically the same. That's because we're taking the external air and passing it over the uh, heat sink in an active way so that it is constantly keeping it cool. That's going to keep those electronics nice and cool, and it's going to keep the uh, bulbs, and it's going to make it last longer. Our bulb is rated to operate at 170 degrees Celsius. Okay. Or Celsius, sorry, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Okay. And I keep getting it mixed up with the metric system here, but 
170 degrees Fahrenheit. At 170 degrees Fahrenheit, we're never going to have that heat inside of a barn. But having that distance between what a barn temperature might be and that's 170 allows the product to uh, be operating cooler than it was intended for, which will also increase its life. Well, the other thing I've noticed is that when you are comparing the different lights, this one seems more natural. Yes. It seems more like daylight, you know, especially versus the LED one we saw here. Now, was that an intentional It was designed um, design? in, yes. Okay. Uh, being a lighting designer, I am very much in tune with what lighting does. And so there were two things that we did that you may be noticing. One is the color that's obvious, and you can kind of see it here outdoors. It's a little very difficult to show, but you can still see it. This has a very good color rendering, and it is 5,000 degrees Kelvin, where comparing it to the other sources, they don't have a, a, a good color rendering, and they have, um, they're usually lower in color temperature. Okay. The other thing that we did that is, is maybe so is subtle is that this one has almost no glare associated right, with it. Yes. So your camera is probably doing a little better job of seeing in there. Yep. But when you look over, say, the compact fluorescent, you can see the glare of the bulb, like yes. headlights coming yes. at you down the yes. road. That's another thing that we did to give the farmers more visibility, or people who are working around these things more visibility in those barns. Now, Chad, I know that we're here at World Pork Expo, but it's my understanding that this technology you've developed can be used far outside of agriculture. You know, what other industries can, can take advantage of this um, innovative lighting system? We're finding that there are a lot of uses that we don't even know yet. <laughs> one of them that's come up are the hoods underneath, like in restaurants, over their oh, kitchen yeah. hoods. Um, another one we're hearing that um, more hog farming and in our industrial work we found wherever they're using one of these glass jelly jars, that's where we could use these. Okay. So it can be in walk-in freezers, you might see something like this, uh, in tunnels and industrial applications, closets. So there are, we're finding more and more applications for it as we talk to more and more people. Now, okay, so just to reiterate, I mean, you've got a couple different advantages. For, so for these hog producers who are here or who maybe aren't here today, you've got um, efficiency. Yes. You're changing your lighting system less. I'm assuming your utility costs are going down. You are. So compared okay. to a 23 watt bulb, we're going to be using 14 watts. Okay. That saves electricity, which saves money. And that is one of the bigger parts of the energy savings. Okay. The AgriFission LED over its life saves 46% compared to the 23 watt CFL. And that's quite a savings when you can look at the maintenance savings, the uh, electrical cost savings, and then lastly the labor cost savings. And uh, comparing the labor costs is something that we found the farmers find interesting is that they're not going to reduce their payroll necessarily, but it's going to free up a lot of time it could be spent on other things right. than changing light bulbs, much more important things. Well, I'm going to give you a plug right now. You know, um, USDA is, it has a program, um, the REAP program, that is helping all farmers to create more energy efficient production. And from what I'm getting from this presentation, seeing this myself, I think this would be a huge op option or opportunity for these farmers to come in and change out their lighting and create more efficiency. I would agree, because the efficiencies are there, definitely. Well, great. Well, Chad, is there anything else you'd like to add? Other than that it's, we're the only one that was produced specifically for the swine industry, it makes it very unique. With our watertight uh, fitting, where it's watertight from the inside out, it definitely is something different, and it will solve the problems in the hog Great, thanks. Have a great day.